I told myself instead of feeling sorry for myself, which is what I was starting to do, I'm going to go put this gas in the moped and see if I can get it to start. And this is just to hold some cords under the TV. But just keep going. I don't think I'm tired and depleted of energy because I'm tired. I think I feel overwhelmed and I need to keep pushing through. I'm just outside working on my moped. Well, I'm not really working on it. I just am going to put some gasoline in it and see if it starts. Hmm. And then I still need cabs, but I might ride it anyway, just for a couple days. But I guess we'll see if it starts. <clears throat> but I just wanted to say <laughs> that I feel so stupid making videos. It's just how I feel. Like, I mean, I think social media makes a lot of people insecure and stuff, but, um, yeah, it definitely makes me insecure. And this is drug out. So you know what? Maybe I'm gonna have to edit this and then make a YouTube video or whatever. If I wanna like share and not keep freaking out and freezing, I have so many videos that I've never posted because I thought they ended up sounding stupid. But really? You wanna not care. If you don't wanna listen to it then, just keep scrolling. But maybe I should start with a picture in the post so that when it does come across their feed, it doesn't just start talking right away. Cause I think that might be what really annoys people. <laughs> but I know, I shouldn't care what people think. I know. And I don't, but I don't wanna annoy them. So I guess I do. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna work on this moped because I know where my mind was taking me and it wanted to... I've just felt so overwhelmed today about everything. Um, yeah, I wanna talk more about it, but I'm also kind of like, it's hard when you feel like maybe, I don't know, like maybe what you say would not be okay but i'm gonna work through that and then i'm gonna start posting more because i'm not getting any younger not that it matters but you know <sighs> california will do that to you or it will make you way younger it just depends what like direction you go <laughs> yep look at two minutes and 37 seconds that's great okay i'm gonna try the gas now and then um, i'll let you know Hopefully I'm riding my moped. You'll see that in the next video. Y'all, I'm bringing this log into the house, those two by four, whatever it is, into the house at night. I'm like turning into a night crawler in this neighborhood. See, I would totally have tried starting my moped if I lived in Washington, but live in California and you don't have like land and there's an HOA you gotta be respectful and there's also people around that can be dangerous you can't trust everyone so just want to let you know I'm bringing it in you know I've always wanted to show just how like complicated the things that I do are so the wood is over there that I found and there's no space to hold my wheelchair can get there. Then once I get the wood, I'm gonna have to like back it up. Oh, a brake is on. All right, so I'm gonna show you how we do this. This is so exciting. You're gonna see the inside. The inside scoop of just how like possibly. Mm, I used I was. Yeah, you know, I'm confused about myself. Am I, am I obsessive? Or am I just trying to like do things that would be a lot easier and faster if I wasn't in a wheelchair? No, even when I wasn't in a wheelchair, I did this stuff all night long. Like, so it has nothing to do with that. I'm just lucky that the wheelchair didn't stop me, you know? Okay, you know, wood is hard to come by and I'm sick of all my home depot tips. Like, you gotta get it. Steve, this is your 
this is your how-to video, do-it-yourself video that you requested. First you get the wood, you get it past the nice vehicles, you don't get a pressure sore on your butt, which I actually have a bug bite on my butt bone. You know, it's kind of like causing me problems. You see how like I kind of look like an ape when I crawl? It's an insecurity of mine. But when no one's around, I crawl a lot faster. Because I do my ape crawl. Well, I do what I want to do or what I need to do. But when people are around, sometimes I like see some awkward movements that just trying to like hide my body parts, my butt bones. I probably did, do not need these, but I need, I might need them for the mirror border because I gotta, the guy at Home Depot was teaching me, he had to teach me three times. I needed visuals. So I put it in the middle of the aisle and he taught me how to do it. Well, he gave me his idea. I love Home Depot. I love the people there. I typed Home Depot into my contacts list. I have a lot of people come up that I've met that I said, hey, next time you're here, if I'm here, maybe you can help me with something. <laughs> Teach me about plants. Maybe I can like text you about a plant I have a question with, because you're the plant man. And they say yes, so, hello. I should have waved and smiled the first time I looked at him, because then he looked away and he looked upset. That's me reading into things. Oh, well, this is my life journey. Hope you enjoy it. Add uh, that video to the last video. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video. <laughs> I just think I want to share. I don't know why. But I do. So I'm gonna. Because it's so stupid to hold back. Because worrying about what people think. I think that was the big, is, is the, one of the biggest clouds in my life. I hold back every single day. And I am only getting older. I'm 30 now. Gotta do angles. This is an angle. A lot of angles don't look good anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start carrying this wooden. I wish there was someone to record the way I carry it because it's gonna be a mess. But I'm all by myself. Because I am. And that's okay. <laughs> I mean, the best I can get is probably like, i show that Nike love, you know? But it's probably, if I just have this on flat, you can at least hear the commotion. It's gonna be exciting. And when I go down the middle of the road, the wood sticks out like I'm a car. <laughs> but I'm not. Just, I'm just a girl in a world. <laughs> I met that guy earlier in the laundry room. He was very nice. His name is Mandy. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Hi, man. And I'm trying to, like, uh, it sounds so cheesy. Probably for your, I don't know how old you are, but your generation's like, this is dumb. But I'm making a YouTube, I'm making YouTube videos now. Yeah, but I feel really stupid about it. So it's like, and I'm trying to like do it on my own. Like, look at this is how someone in a wheelchair carries wood. <laughs> so I just got a little video clip of that and I'll add it because, you know. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. No, I highly doubt that. I just can't believe I never even, I don't know if I've seen you guys. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you ever need a babysitter, I'm I'm there. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. <laughs> Wants to trust his kid with a dumpster diver. <laughs> yep. A full blown vehicle. <laughs> okay. Hone said I should start making YouTube videos, so Hone, if you even watch anything that I, you know, because I know, I know.
I am I just talk a lot. <laughs> but you love me. Maybe sometimes you watch them. Just want you to know you're a big encouragement to, from these videos. Just trying to live my life to the fullest. Alright, here comes the curb hop with the wood. This is how you get your wood up a curb. Right, there's no curb cuts. <laughs> Alright. First, you find a parking space that's wide enough for your vehicle. A long vehicle. So that works out. Then you put the wood onto the ground so you can get ready to get your wheelchair up the curb. Alright. The wood is on the ground. You see that? Alright. Now, the way that you jump up a curb. It's quite simple. But I also have quad muscles. And when you have quad muscles, it's a lot easier to jump up the curb because you can just like throw yourself at it and the risk of falling out and breaking an arm or like not being able to put your foot down to like protect yourself, it's a lot less. So, you know, don't judge anyone in a wheelchair for what they do because they do what they know they can do. And yes, some of them should push themselves a little bit harder, but so should everybody that can walk. <laughs> I'm trying to show the wheelchair jump up the curb. This is how you get wood up a curb. But it's hard because, I mean, it's, I think, yeah, it's going now. Right. Thank you. I mean, it's literally just going to take a second. And then when I pick the wood up. And then I'll put it back. Okay. 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 I just got to show them, like, how, uh, crazy I am, I guess. But really, I'm just trying to do things that wouldn't be as, like, weird if I could, you know. Okay. Well, you got that. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> Made it home. Look at that. Pushing with one hand. That's a skill everyone should learn how to do. Now I'm pushing the ball. And then, that's how I hold the wood. Yeah. Okay, lucky to have my quads.